hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe and i really really appreciate all that so we're going to take a look at the new ridge line and also we have a price and then it's also going to be shipping out to the dealerships pretty soon so first of all it's going up about a thousand bucks i'm just rounding it up which is not that much of an increase comparing to other manufacturers that's you know raising up their truck prices significantly i'm talking about you toyota you went from like 28 grand to $31,000 for the new Tacoma trucks. That's a, that's a steep increase there. What's going on? All right. That's, that's, that's a hell of an increase. But the only, the difference between, um, the Tacoma truck and the Honda over here is the Toyota is using a completely different engine for the, um, for the new model. They're going with that I force hybrid engine. Um, so that's what they're doing, but the Honda Ridgeline is still using the same V6 engine. <laughs> I don't know. That's in their SUVs. Um, but anyway, I digress. That's in the SUVs as well as the, um, the passport passport still has that engine as well too. Um, except for the CRV, the CRV is using 1.5, but the, um, pilot is still using the same engine as well to the V6. Um, engine um, Honda hasn't made any uh, significant uh, change towards hybrid engine for their bigger vehicles I don't know why I'm not an engineer I'm not a Honda you know <laughs> I don't work at the factories I don't, I don't make these kind of decisions they still haven't made the leap to transition their bigger vehicles into a maybe like some sort of like a four-cylinder twin turbo or something like that which is which is good those engines that they have in the CRVs, or I'm sorry, not the CRV, but the Pilot as well as the Passport and the um, the Ridgeline. Those engines are pretty solid, in my opinion. They're 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 good. They're good engines. They they don't get the best gas mileage, but to be honest, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Who knows? Maybe in like um in their next uh, full redesign where they revamped pretty much everything about it, maybe they'll do a new engine, and then that'll be good for like the next ten years or so. But I think they're still they're good with the engine that they have, even though it still uses a fucking uh, timing chain and, and a belt. <laughs> the fuck? Belt? Right? It's crazy. But anyway, I think I, um, I wasted enough to, of your time. So let's just get into the nitty gritty, go into the price as well as the looks, the design. Um, I showed a little bit of it a long time ago. I showed, I did the video where I was just showing it camouflage, but now the camo's off. So we're going to take a look at the base model as well as the trail sport. This is the trail sport version that you're looking behind me. It's got that big ridge line sign on the backside, <laughs> but let's go. Alrighty then. So this is the sport model, $39,000 or starting about 41000 so comparing to last year's model, which I can actually pull up right here, if we go back right here, and then click 2023, and then build. Why is it still in, why is it still in 20? Let's see, click it again trim and all right let's see can we build one all right so here we go so as you can see i guess technically it did go up about three thousand dollars um because the msrp is 38 38,800 and the new msrp is 39 something but if you add the destination on top, it's about what forty-one thousand for the new one comparing to the old one. But if you add the destination on this one, so you know what? It's it's let's just say let's say a thousand bucks, okay? All in for the new increase, a thousand bucks. And um, yeah, so forty-one thousand is with destinations, forty-three thousand for RTL, and the trail sport is forty-six thousand. So it's five thousand dollars more than the base model. If you want to, if you want, you know, like the good shit. And then of course we got the black edition. Woo! The black edition. Yes, please. So as we go back into our build area here, we're gonna change that over to the twenty twenty-four. As you can see, the 
let me just click right here making sure that it does switch over just from just from looking at it totally different than last year's model um honestly like i would have had a problem with the way the grill is set up because let me just pull this down a little bit uh because especially if the if it was a um an engine that requires a turbo charge this would have been restricting but since it's still running that v6 engine i still think it's a little bit more restrictive to my liking but you know what i'm not an engineer they figure all this shit out already <laughs> we just have to um enjoy you know you just have to enjoy the, the truck um so like i said i'm not a um not a huge fan of this this front grill over here but you guys let me know in the comments what you think of it the interior looks pretty much unchanged. It could be used a little bit of a revamp, in my opinion, even though they might have fixed it up just a little bit comparing to last year's model. I think that they could have done it a little bit better. It just looks a little bit too... It looks outdated, in my opinion. But, you know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So you let me know what you think in the comments below. And the grill... Um, I think I've talked about it, like, you know, roughly what they're going with the grills, with the design of their, um, of the Passport had, like, something similar when it comes to the Trail Sport, as well as the Pilot. The grill looks very, very similar. It's just something that they're going for. Um, I didn't really like it, you know what I mean? Just like the, um, what, what Honda was doing with all their other crossovers, too, with the, um, with the whole grill. I think I complained about that as well not a fan of it i'm like i like when they change things around and not just make everything similar i think the main thing that i was complaining about was the interior if i remember correctly because the interior just looked like any other civics it didn't really separate them at all <laughs> they had the same vents in the in pretty much majority of their cars and i had uh i had my issues with it but you know what i will deal so when we go over to the black edition, you get black exterior, black edition leather interior, 18 inch black alloy, red ambient LEDs. Damn, this thing looks sick. I ain't even gonna lie. It looks pretty hard. I like it. And then you got your different kind of packages, all weather and all that nonsense. And yeah, man, the black edition looks pretty, it looks pretty sick. I don't know how I feel about this, like the big lettering here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll be real. I'm not digging it. I'm not digging it at all. But you guys let me know what you, what you think about the new design of the Honda Ridgeline in the comments below. What what do you think? Do you like it? Is it a pass? Does it get a pass? Do you like the design? Oh, okay. You get you get three colors before they start charging you. Diffuse sky blue. Nope. That's not gonna do it. Nope, nope, nope. You know what? I would either get a room. I don't know, that blues. <sighs> I don't know. And I think that blue is only available on the Trail Sport. But let's see if the other colors, or if it's available, if the other colors have that particular color. Because sometimes they do, yep. Yep, that sky blue color is only available on the, um, the Trail Sport. And to be honest, I think I like the grill on this a little bit better comparing to the, um, to the, other one i'm not a fan of it is that like a hdpd or a honda whatever oh okay all right all right i dig it i dig it yeah see these these grills are so much better than the the honda development whatever hd honda development group i don't know i don't like it Especially the one that's on, I believe it's in this photo. Let me see if I can find it. Is it even in here? I could have sworn the picture was here. Give me a second, I'll find it. 
Let's see. Nope. Yeah, here it is. HPD. That shit looks kind of lame. Lame. But the sky blue looks much better in um in that picture than it did on the um on the build on the build on the uh, on the build your um build your car or build your truck or whatever trim and build it yourself. It looks so much better in real life to be honest. The blue does pop. I like it. I like this color better than what it looks like when you go to um to build your um your ridge line. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. I'm not a fan of this HPD um grill. Um <laughs> Not a fan, but let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Just the overall look of the truck as well as the price, what your thoughts are. I didn't really go into the nitty gritty, but I will leave a link in the description if you want to go through it. Or maybe I'll, I can run through it real fast. Um, it's $950 more than its predecessor and gains a 7-inch digital instrument cluster as well as a nine, uh, larger 9-inch nine display. Buyers will also find a new center console, updated grill, and a revamped tailgate with ridgeline lettering. Not a fan of that either. I think it looks whack. <laughs> the unibody pickup comes with a host of driver assistance system, including adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, braking, but that's kind of like standard on pretty much all of Honda's, Honda's uh, vehicles. Bigger changes occur inside as customers will find heated leather front seats. Hello! Leather wrapped steering wheel and auto dimming rear view mirror. Their joint additional safety features include a cross traffic monitor and blind spot information system. The big news for 2024 is the rugged trail sport trim, which costs 44980 Since the model was designed to venture off the beaten path, it comes equipped with unibody protection on all terrain tires, off road focus suspension they're joined by special floor mats and synthetic leather seats and orange contrast stitching and another thing too the that i can give honda on is all their vehicles comes standard um all-wheel drive the ridgeline comes standard all-wheel drive doesn't matter which trim you picked whether you have you get the uh, the sport model or the top of the line black edition they all come standard and in all-wheel drive system all Ridgelines have a 3.5 liter V6 developed 280 horsepower torque. It's paired to a nine speed automatic transmission and a standard all wheel drive system. The setup gives the truck fuel economy rating of 18 miles per gallon in the city and 24 in the highway, 21 miles per gallon combined. But it's all bullshit, honestly. Um, <laughs> the EPA doesn't have time to test every single vehicle that they have um, coming. Yeah, I've read something about it just roughly. But anyway, let me know your thoughts about the new Ridgeline. Honestly, for the amount of money that you're getting, you're getting a lot of truck for the money. But I have my, it has its ups and downs, just like with any new product. But the one thing that I can definitely give it way thumbs up on is that engine. That engine is pretty solid, if you ask me. Um, but anyway, all right, that's it. I'm, I'm done rambling for tonight. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.